So you want to learn how to do a flip on a wakeboard, but you're just too scared to try. Well, this video is for you. In this episode, we're not going to be teaching you how to do these tricks. We're going to be teaching you how to do them without wrecking yourself. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? I'm Kane's dad, Justin. Um, so as Kane was saying, we're gonna show you uh, the baby steps of how to do your first invert. And um, there's some things that I'm gonna show you that the boat driver has to do as far as slowing down as the rider's edging in. Uh, but Kane will show you kind of how we learn how to do this. Little disclaimer here, your coach may say that this is totally wrong. This is just what we did to get Kane upside down for the, for the first time when he was six years old. And we still go back and use this drill sometimes when he's scared to do a trick for the first time. So uh, go out, give it a shot, see if it works for you. If not, just do what your coach is telling you. Uh, but this is the baby steps that we took uh, to get Kane upside down for the first time. Uh, so take a look. So as Kane starts to edge in, what I'm gonna do with the throttle is I'm gonna slowly roll off throttle, not all the way back and not really fast, but what it'll do is it'll keep the wake really clean so that he's able to hit the wake and jump. And then as he's landing, a lot of times I'll get back on the throttle to keep him up so he doesn't fall in the water. But the first time you go upside down, or the first time you try a trick, it's not gonna hurt that bad. It's not gonna be taking really hard falls. It's like jumping off the boat dock uh, with your wakeboard on. So it's okay to go upside down and just dive in. It's not going to be painful. And we'll show you a couple of those as well. As Kane is turning in, I'm slowly rolling back on the throttle. As he's landing, I'm accelerating back up to speed. On this attempt, I started rolling back on the throttle a little bit too early, so as you can see, the wake washed out on him. Make sure you wait until the rider turns in, and then slowly roll back on the throttle, and it should have a nice clean wake by the time they get there. I would suggest working on one wake jumps like this several times, so that the rider and the driver can get their timing down pat. Alright, so how this started, um Kane and I used to ride on this really small lake. It was only about a mile and a half long and really narrow. Uh, Kane was young, uh, five or six years old. And at the end of the lake, instead of turning around and causing a bunch of rollers because it was so narrow, we would uh, slowly roll off throttle and stop the boat. And Kane knew I was gonna do that at the end of the lake. And so he, he started edging in and hitting the wake as we were stopping. And he would launch off this thing and get a lot of air. Um, right, right around that time also, he started getting really good at flips on the trampoline. So I told him one day when we were out, man, just cut in there and hit that thing and, and do a flip and just see what happens. It's not gonna hurt because uh, we're coming to a stop. And it went really well off the first try. And so um, we, we, we just kept working with it. And before you know it, he was landing one wake uh, back rolls. And uh, then I got a little better at the throttle and got to where he could do the back roll and just keep going. And what'd you just do? Um, I landed up my first back roll behind um, the boat. How'd it feel? Awesome. Then we kept doing that and that built his confidence up to where we could shorten the rope in and he could take it wake to wake and um, kind of went from there. All right, so this is going upside down for the first time ever. I'm gonna roll off the throttle and actually come all the way off because he's gonna let go anyway. So that's half a flip. So this time we're really gonna commit on it hang on to that handle and try to get it all the way around. So he just he just did half a flip and it's not painful. He just kind of like jumped off of a, of a boat dock and dove in. It's not gonna hurt all that bad. Now you could just go for it, but the crash is gonna be a lot harder. So this is what worked for Kane. Again, your wakeboard coach may say this is dumb, to do whatever they tell you, but this is just what we did. All right, trying to get this one out. So this time he's gonna really focus on keeping that handle in tight and get the flip all the way around. But again, even if, even if he crashes, it's not gonna be all that bad because we're slowing down to almost a stop.
So there's a couple of different kinds of boats as far as the uh, perfect pass goes. Obviously you could do this really easy if it didn't have any kind of um, uh, speed control. But on the older style boats with the paddle wheel, this is super easy because once the, the perfect pass is engaged, uh, you're just pulling back on the throttle and it, it um, automatically reacts instantly. On these newer style boats uh, with the GPS, um, there's a little bit of a sweet spot when you, when you punch it all the way down and the perfect pass engages. Um, you have to pull back on the throttle and then you'll feel where it's about to start to slow down. And so you kind of keep it right in front of that and then as your rider edges in, that's when you're gonna roll off of it. Uh, if you just pull through that, through that gap of nothing and then hit it, you're gonna get like a really quick stop. Um, so as they're edging out, you kind of want to pull back on that throttle and find where it's going to start slowing down and then give it a little bit of gas so you know it's right there. I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so I'm going to get the boat up to speed and let you'll hear it engage and then I'll show you what that looks like uh, coming off throttle. driving technique this is called a dumper so you've landed your one-way back roll or tantrum or whatever it is that you're trying for the first time and now you want to take it wake to wake if you're still a little bit scared as Kane is edging in I'm going to turn away from I'm going to turn in the direction that he's going so what that's going to do is it's going to it's going to make the wake more narrow and it's also going to feel like it's slowing down for Kane. Another thing it's going to do is it's going to make the weight peak up so it gets, gets a good pop off the weight. But again, as I'm turning, it'll make it really easy for him to go weight to weight. I'm not coming off the throttle at all like we were earlier. This is just your next baby step to take it weight to weight. So when he starts his cut in, I'm going to, I'm going to give the steering wheel about a quarter of a turn in the direction that he's going. They made it nice and easy across the way. And it, to him, back there, it feels like the boat is slowing down. Uh, but we actually stayed the same and it made the, made the weight, weight nice and narrow. It's easy to clear. Give it a try. If you want to learn how to do these tricks, head over to J.B. O'Neill's channel. Or you can give my man Tony Iaconi a call through uh, T.I. Wake Academy and uh, get with Tony. Maybe he can come out and work with you uh, personally. It's really worth your time. Tony's the man. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you go out and try your first slip on a wakeboard, Send it to my Instagram and I'll post it on my stories. As always, hit that subscribe button and tell us what you want to see in the next video. Peace!